Dr. Faith Elliott Rossing with Queen Anne's County Economic Development and I am so pleased to be in a manufacturing facility in Queen Anne's County today. We're here today at Power Electronics in Millington and we are awarding them a $200,000 grant. They participated in the Economic Development Incentive Fund process and because of the expansions that they're making and the improvements that they're making to this facility, uh, the board felt as if though that they were uh, eligible and certainly warranted the the monies that they will receive today but first I want you to hear from Karen Taylor she's president hi good morning um, I'm Karen Taylor CEO and co-founder of Power Electronics um, back in 2009 John and I made uh, a very scary decision and that was to move the manufacturing facility to Maryland um, with the help of Jean Faby and Faith they were able to give us the support, uh, the guidance we needed for locating this, this facility, for getting our permitting, and for um, uh, giving, getting our incentive funds that we needed to make that move. And I don't know what we do without them. We have the intention of um, hiring at least another 30 more, which we started with 40 when we came here. We now have 162 and need another 30. So um, I, I want to thank you very much for everything that you both have done in helping us grow. I think Karen, I think Karen said it all. We just appreciate all the support that, that everyone in this, this whole committee has given us and, and the support from the county. It's, it's been a phenomenal experience and uh, we hope the county to continue to grow with, with our support too. So. Thank you. Thank, Thank you all. You're very welcome. On behalf of the citizens of Queen Anne's County and the Economic Incentive Development Fund Committee, I would like to present you a check for $200,000 to help nurture your growth and increase employment opportunities within the county. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that concludes our presentation for this morning, but hopefully you'll see more in this presentation as it uh, relates to the improvements that are being done on this site that will allow Power Electronics to expand in place and stay in Queen Anne's County and hire more people in a manufacturing facility. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Faith Elliott Rossing with uh, Queen Anne's County Economic Development. I'm the director of the department, and I have Jean Faby here with me. And Jean is our business and economic development liaison, and she's also here with Karen Taylor from Power Electronics. And we just think another part of this story that's really important to tell is that of how Power Electronics came to be in Queen Anne's County. Uh, Karen, would you like to start this? Uh, yes. Um, it was, uh, I guess, late December, early January when uh, we were looking for property, and um, Jean Faby had contacted us and said that there were a couple pieces of property, one in Barclay, Maryland, and one in Millington. And so we went and looked at the Millington property, um, a Barclay property, mm -hmm. I think, first, and that just wasn't going to work. So then we came to um, Millington, looked all around, and boy, it was rough, but Jean says, oh, it looks really good. I can see a lot of possibility <laughs> here. It, it was a diamond in the rough, and it had sat, em sat empty for a while. The, ironically, the company that used to occupy this building, was, was Clarion, moved to Houston, Delaware. So it's kind of ironic that a company from Delaware moves back in to occupy it. And I'll never forget what Karen said when she was walking into the building. We're never going to be able to fill this building. And now we have filled it and we're adding another 60,000 square foot pad onto the outside of this building so that we can continue to employ more people in the county and build this, you know, the business to uh, bring more revenue to the state and county. And we're very pleased that, uh, Karen, you started with 40 employees. 40 employees. And now we're at 162 and hoping for another 30 more. That's, that's wonderful. That'll bring them up to 192 employees, hopefully by the end of the year. And the reality of it is that puts them really in the top 10 of our employers in uh, Queen Anne's County. And to have that be in a manufacturing facility here in Queen Anne's County is huge. Again, I'm Dr. Faith Elliott Rossing with Queen Anne's County Economic Development, and I'm here now with Majette Parker, who serves as one of the members of the Economic Development Incentive Fund Commission, and we are back with Karen Taylor, and they have a special item that they really want to talk to everyone about, and that's about employment opportunities. Majette? Yes, so if people are interested in applying 
to work for you, Karen, here at Power Electronics. How do they go about doing that? Um, they can contact Robin Burko in Human Resources, and the number would be 410-928-7700, extension 1011. And in addition to that, you do have a website. Yes, we do. That, could, that you could probably tell people and they can find employment opportunities there Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. That would be powerelect.com. That's P-O-W-E-R-E-L-E-C dot C-O-M. Great. We really appreciate you reaching out and I hope that people will take this to heart that you really are open for business yes. here with manufacturing in Queen Anne's County. Absolutely. Thank you, Faith. Thank, Thank you. you.